Oh, before I came, you know, I, I was drinking a lot. I, and I was oh, one good. I was having arguments with my family all the time. I couldn't get to see my kids. And uh, I done a detox and I come, come here just over a year ago. And I've been doing pretty good. I never really had a chance to learn in school before. And when I come here over a year ago, it's, it's been out the tutors have helped me a lot. And oh, I hope it keeps going, I guess. My name is Kelly Baben and I am 23. I have four young children. One is five and is in full-time school and I have triplets aged two and a half. We were doing a show start play group and um, they encouraged the parents to leave the children with because they brought in staff to you know keep the children occupied while you've just done little things or just seen sat and talked. It just made you realise that you, as an adult, you, you need to play. You don't have to be an adult all the time and constantly looking after the children. You know, there is something where you and your children can come together and both play. We've done ice skating and, you know, I know it's not a course that you're doing, or, but that's where it started with your confidence building. It got you out and about, just something you couldn't do. Well, I couldn't do with the three babies and another child. Partnership in Grygracker is exactly what it says. It's a partnership that belongs to Grygracker, that is inspired by people that live in Grygracker and is here to serve the residents. It gives an opportunity for the people of Grygracker not to be too concerned about going out to their own environment where they feel comfortable and, and having a bit of education. We are here to serve our own community, looking at regenerating and meeting their needs and encourage them, as I said, to get back into education and training and give them some self-worth and really feel that they are part of a growing community and can offer something unique that nobody else can offer. <music> Always getting in trouble, always getting threatened to get chucked out of school. I ended up on drugs and eventually I ended up in prison. And then an organisation called Victory Outreach UK came into the prison and there was girls that had been in the mess I was in and I could see that they had changed and they were, that they were happy. Nearly four years down the line from that moment when I first came to the organisation, I'm now manager of the Animal Project and without the opportunity that I've got at the moment in the course I'm doing now with the help from all the tutors, you know, what, what future would there be for Victory Outreach UK, the Therapeutic Animal Project, helping in the rebuilding of people's lives? When I was in a Youth Offenders Institute, um, I was helping dyslexic learners with form basic reading and understanding words. And I really enjoyed it, to be quite honest with you. And I want to get a better understanding. I want to favour my education in English. I, I want to learn. I'm here because I want to learn. It's not because I've got to. It's my own choice. If you want something and you work hard, you can get it.